Welcome to Angel Speaks. In this video, I'm going to talk about triangulation. Um, this was a request from somebody, and so I'm going to talk about how a narcissist will use triangulation um, to further abuse somebody, to torment them. Um, basically, triangulation. Um, when it comes to psychology, it basically is a manipulation tactic or a strategy that um, people will use to narcissists or toxic people will use to try to communicate indirectly. And this is how it works. This is how they do that. Instead, okay, let's say they have a problem with somebody. Instead of going to that person, all right, I'm going to use like a family unit as, a, as an example, and then I'm going to use a, um, an example like, like if you're married to somebody and they're doing this to you. All right, so first of all, family unit. Let's say, let's say that we have two toxic parents, because how many of you know is usually both of them that are toxic, all right? But one of them will be more obvious with it. Um... Maybe this one's more abusive and this was more like the victim, um, which is usually the case when they are um, together. One will be more um, of the one that's doing the abusing usually. But so you have the one that let's say they're very abusive. The other one's like the victim, right? And then they have kids. So this is how the triangulation will work. Let's say, for example, the mother will, um, instead of talking to the person, the, the husband, for example, or maybe they have and it doesn't work. So instead of deciding, you know what, this is not a healthy situation for me. Let me get out of it. Instead of doing that, they'll stay there with this in this unhealthy relationship. And then they'll drag their children into their problems. And how they can do that is, let's say the mother will start talking to the siblings or their children um, maybe just one child and they'll they'll like tell that child all the relationship issues like they'll cause that child to be like their psychologist oh i'm such a victim you know your father just treats me so bad and that's a shame i wish somebody loved me and they put all these problems and they load them onto the child as if it's if, as if it's the child's responsibility to even worry about a child should worry about childhood things they should they should be having fun um, learning certain responsibilities, you know, but they shouldn't have to have a burden of, oh no, poor, poor, poor mommy. I have to do something to save her. I have to, a child shouldn't have to worry and stress over mommy or daddy. You know, that, that shouldn't be something that they have to worry about, but that's what happens. And so you have the, the one person who, um, will tell all the problems. They'll talk about the other parents, the child, and, and then the other, the child, will communicate what the parent is communicating to them, to the other parent. So that's how triangulation works. Like they use somebody else um, to communicate, to talk, basically talk bad about the other person um, or, or whatever the case be. And it leaves the other person kind of like, well, now I have to handle this. So now I'm going to try to, you know, now I'm going to talk. I'm mad at that person because, you know, she told me this, that, and a third. Um, and then that child will, will try to fill in the shoes of, of the, the, the other parents. So it's just like that child becomes like that has that burden. Like I have to take on the responsibility of my father now and, and try to, you know, try to help my mother feel better and, and, and play that husband role now. And so then sometimes you have like the, the son and the mother um, have like this relationship where the, the son feels like he has to, you know, take care of the mom, so to speak. And, um, so in a family unit and, and, and sometimes, you know, it's, it's like they'll work against each other. You know, you'll have one sibling that sides with this parent because that parent's always talking trash about the other parents of this child. Then you have this child that sides with the other parent because, you know what I'm saying? And so it's just not healthy. And then when it comes to lovers, I'm, 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 um, change this up a little bit, but, um, when you're with somebody and this person, basically what they'll do is. They'll talk about um, you to somebody that you know. They'll talk bad about you to somebody they know or vice versa. They'll talk bad about somebody they know to you. and um, But they try, to, they try to cause drama. This is what narcissists will do. Um, 
in my case, this person would introduce me to, he had a lot of women friends, which that is a big red flag. If, if you're with, uh, if you're dating a man and he has a lot of women friends, like a lot, that's a red flag. <laughs> that's a sign of a cheater. I'm just saying from my observance, my observation. So this person would, would introduce me to all these women friends and um to try to have me be their friend but then he would like start sometimes he would start talking bad about them to me so that I could like not like them anymore or um he would talk bad about me to them and then it's like okay we're cool then all of a sudden they don't want to talk to me no more and I'm like what happened and then um and then he or she will, will start talking to you and make it seem like all of a sudden he's so close to them they're like his best buddy or pals and then you're like well, what happened? Like, we were cool, and then now they don't want to talk to me no more. And they'll be like, maybe because they don't like you no more. Maybe because you're too judgmental. Or maybe because, like, they'll make up scenarios. Like, they'll bring somebody into the relationship and then cause drama within that. The next, you know, you're mad at that person. And and you, you, you guys don't even know that you're all a part of the game. You guys are all pawns, a part of his or her game. And this narcissist will create drama among friends um, just for the heck of it, just for the joy of it. And, and, and they'll be the ones creating the drama and then they'll step away and let it be between you guys. And you guys have all this drama between each other. And it's like they're just in the corner like, <laughs> uh, you guys are so into drama. You know, I, I, don't put me into this, but they're the ones that started it. Um, so that's what triangulation is a lot, is basically about for the most part. And this is something narcissists love to do. They'll do this with family. They'll try to tear, tear you and your family apart. You know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, I was talking to so-and-so and, um, you know, and, you know, gossip, drama, all that stuff. Um, and, you know, they do it also to, to communicate indirectly. You know, if they have a problem with you, they won't tell you. They'll tell your friend and, and talk trash about you to your friend or to your family. Because they want people to, you know, that's just how it is. You know, they, they love drama. So, I hope I answered that question um, about triangulation. So, um, let me know if, if, you know, this was helpful. If you have any questions... Please comment and ask if you have any suggestions for other future topics you want me to talk about. Um, please request that in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. More to come.